Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an occult box unboxing and it is going to be the vampire box so I'm very excited for that. So if you do like the sound of that do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into the unboxing now. So I have done a few other occult box unboxings on my channel. I think I've got two others. One of them was like a haunted house theme and the one before that was like kind of a relaxing box so this one as i said is the vampire box and it just looks like this it is in a kind of standard brown box and then it says occult box which has been stamped on top now i haven't seen any of the contents of this box i have just opened it to take a thumbnail photo but i haven't actually seen anything that's inside the box i'm really really excited this is probably the theme i'm most excited for a cult box usually cost around 26 pounds per month i think this one was 26 pounds 80 and they usually switch between kind of gothic themes like this one and the haunted house one and bats and then they do usually like a witchy one so i generally prefer their like more gothic themes rather than their witchy ones but they do have both of those available and as i said they do tend to alternate them so this is a uk box as i've said in previous videos but i will get on with the unboxing now i actually haven't filmed a video in a really long time it's been really hot over here and it's just started to cool down <laughs> So as you saw in the thumbnail, that is what the box looks like when you open it. So it does have this kind of card on top. And then inside it's got all of these kind of shredded tissue pieces. And then it also has, I don't know if you'll be able to see from that, but it does have these bats, these kind of black tissue bats and also these red circles so those are on top and then as i said there's this piece of artwork well it's kind of like a photograph really and it does have the lady's instagram i'm pretty sure i follow her on instagram i'm pretty sure and then something that they haven't done previously is a contents card so this is the full list of contents in the box obviously i haven't looked at it but that i really do like because i think that's been the one thing i've wanted from them when i've opened previous boxes is you never get like the list of contents to maybe know what an item is or to make sure you got everything so i really like that they're doing that now i will take off all of the shredded tissue that's going to go everywhere <laughs> So right on top I can see this, this was looking at me kind of through the shredded tissue and it's in this red and white striped kind of paper bag. I think this is a candle, it says ribbon for decorative purposes only, please remove before lighting candle. So assuming there's a candle in here, there's this huge kind of pillar candle in red. It doesn't have a scent or anything, I wasn't really expecting it to and then it does have this black ribbon which I'm guessing you will remove. And then it did have this little vampire fangs charm, just kind of loose in the bag, but I'm assuming that was tied around here maybe. I guess this would look really cool on one of those like fancy gothic candle holder things. I don't actually have one, but I've seen one in TK Maxx that looks really cool. But generally I don't tend to burn pillar candles, mainly because I like things with a scent. <laughs> I'm assuming this would look really cool when all like the wax strips down. So that's the first item the next thing i can see is some incense sticks i think these are yeah so these say vampire blood incense there's premium vampire extract whatever that is um i'm not sure if it says the scent of them no not that i see i don't think it has the scent they kind of just smell like you know that incense stick smell so this is the second item and that's what the box looks like and then next i can see this black organza bag and it looks like there's some like crystals and maybe a brooch in there so i would just get all of this out there are a few things in here as i said i saw a crystal and it's this one this is like a green crystal and from the look of it i think it's either some type of bloodstone or maybe ocean jasper because it kind of looks like that it's kind of like a teal green color kind of looks like that it's a bit hard to see because of the glare but there are some like red spots in it i'm not sure if you can see but there is this there's no information card so i'm assuming on the kind of content sheet it will tell me what this is but from the look of it i'm thinking some type of 
bloodstone or ocean jasper so that's the first item in that bag and then next i can see this and this is a crystal chip bracelet i think this is like a red tiger's eye bracelet which i don't actually have which is good because i do have quite a lot of crystal bracelets as you can probably see i do have like a whole pot of them so i'm glad it's one that i don't actually have and i've just noticed there's a little charm on it and it does have a vampire teeth on it right there so it does kind of match the color of the bracelet and it does have fangs so that's a cute subtle charm on there and then there is this brooch which is huge <laughs> and it's got some kind of vampire themed charms on there so there's the brooch pin and then there's kind of a cross dagger a coffin and then a bat i really like this charm i love the way it catches the light i feel like that would be really pretty on a necklace so there is this i don't really wear too many brooches i guess you could put this on a bag and that would be really cute but you would have like quite a big <laughs> hole going through it um i don't really like to put pins on clothing either but i do like the effect of this and if i don't use it as a brooch i might take this charm off and use it as like a necklace because i think it's really pretty so there is this and then there's this really pretty burgundy kind of velvet bag that looks like that and i'm assuming there's a piece of jewelry in here yeah so it's a bit tangled oh okay this is quite cool so to be honest i'm not a huge fan of the chain it's on um i just prefer like normal kind of silver plated chain but i can easily take the charm off of this and put it on a different chain but this is kind of like a blood vial which is very very cool i don't have anything like this so it's kind of a thin is it a, i think it's a glass it looks like a glass and then it's got this red liquid it doesn't seem to tip when you tip it upside down but it does look very very cool say like sometimes these necklaces can look a bit cheap but i feel like this does work quite well and as i said i will be taking it off this cord so i do actually like that and then there's also another velvet bag this one's black and a bit bigger oh and this has some kind of spray in it oh that's really cool i was going i was just thinking actually usually a cult box advertises a business that's in their box so the haunted house box has like hex bomb and another artist who did the print um but this is from bubba's melties i love bubba's melties and it's one of their room sprays and it's a vampire theme i think they've done this either exclusively or maybe they've released it in this box first because i haven't seen this on their page so really excited for this i have done another video with bubba's melties where they actually sent me some stuff so i'll link that video in the eye if you'd like to go and see more of what they do um but this is a room spray and it's called blood of the damned and the scent says dark woody floral so that's the scent of this and then it does just have their business card and then it's got all of the information from their room spray and then this is what the bottle looks like i really like the kind of fangs and this is a 60 milliliter bottle i'll test it out <laughs> i mean i'd say it's more of like a fresh scent but i'm not always the best with identifying scents but it does smell very very nice definitely something i'd use so really really like this next item next up is this and again this matches the same bag the candle is in this feels like it could be a pocket mirror or something in here and this just says a cult box vampire on it yeah so there's a pocket mirror in here just like i thought i actually really like the design of this one um and it's got kind of fangs a kind of dagger with a cross a bat and a coffin so that's the design of it on a red background and then it does have the mirror there and there's also this key ring which i actually really really like too so it's kind of a silhouette of a castle kind of like dracula style and then it says carpe noctum with bats and then on the other side it does have these three bats too really like that it's double-sided and i really like both of the designs on this so really pleased with that usually i don't 
tend to use pocket mirrors too much just because I have like quite a lot of them um so I don't really need any more but I really do like the design of this so we'll be keeping that <laughs> and I think there's two items left now one of them looks like a tote bag yeah so it is a black tote bag and then I'll show you the design of it I haven't seen it yet <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. So it's kind of a Dracula themed tote bag with these ornate corners, a bat, and then it says Dracula in this kind of gothic text. And then it says Bram Stoker. It is plain on the back, but the main print looks like that. I really like this actually. I'd say it's a little bit on the thin side. You can probably like, yeah, you can see through it a bit. Actually, it's quite thin. That's one side of it. <laughs> that's definitely, the thinnest tote bag I think I've seen. Like this is definitely not one of those heavy duty tote bags that you'd use to bring shopping, but I'd say maybe posting a few items, this would be fine. I might take this today actually, because it matches my whole vampire look that I did do specifically for this box. <laughs> so yeah, do really like that. I'd say it's definitely on the thin side, but I do really like the design. I think there's one item left and this is an air freshener so i have seen these these are kind of on a few other websites this says mystical air freshener vanilla scented air freshener and it says my other ride is hers it's vanilla scented and it does just look like that and it's a coffin so yeah i might put this in my car so that's everything in the box i will just go through the contents card just to go through all the items yeah so it does give the crystal names too so it says occult box vampire this is the july box and it says what's in the box dracula tote bag so this is kind of the biggest item in the box i do really like this um, i'll definitely get use out of that then it says room fragrance spray by bubba's melties that was the blood of the damned room spray so that is this one again i do really like that item the third one is bloodsucker pocket mirror this one again not something i generally keep but i actually really like the design of that so i will get some use out of that too again i might take that because i'm actually going out to nando's today so might take the pocket mirror with me um, the fourth one is Dracula's Castle Key Ring. Again, really like the design of this one. Coffin Hanging Air Freshener, which was the Coffin Hearse one that I just showed you. Then Fang Pillar Candle. This one, this is probably the item I'll get the least amount of use out of, to be honest, just because I don't tend to burn this type of candle. But I do think it fits the theme and everything. Blood Vial Necklace. This one, as I said, really like the pendant, but I'm not too keen on the chain. I did actually used to use this chain for my shop, but I quickly got rid of it because I felt like it looked a bit messy. But I will definitely take off this pendant and put it on like a silver plated or a stainless steel chain because I really do like the pendant of that. The next one is Immortal Brooch. Again, <laughs> as I said, I do like the design of this. I just don't tend to use brooches. I could either put this on a bag or as I said, I might take the coffin pendant off because I think that is so pretty um, and put that on a necklace. So either way, I will get some use out of that. The next one is Vampire Blood Premium Incense Sticks, which is these. I don't really tend to use incense too much. I do have a really cool like snake incense holder that I can see off my windowsill. But generally, I prefer scented candles or wax melts so i'm not sure how much use i'll get out of this but again it fits the theme really well and we go on to the crystal things and these are the last two items yeah so it says crystal tumble stone and this says bloodstone i was kind of half right it does look a bit like yellowy i mean i'm not going to be able to show you because it's very faint but it does kind of have the spots of blood but it looks quite different to this bracelet that i'm wearing that is also a bloodstone so i think there's like african bloodstone and indian bloodstone so this could be like a different type and it says also known as heliotrope this tumble stone is a fantastic healer bloodstone is the stone of courage it will help keep balance reduce stress and overcome anxiety so that's this one and the last item in the box is the bracelet with the little like fang charm on it so this says red tiger's eye 
Wearing this gemstone bracelet will aid in confidence and self-esteem. Red Tiger's Eye will help motivate and energise the wearer. So that's the contents card. I'll just show you this. So we did get 11 items in this box. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like other boxes might have had more stuff. But at the same time, like nothing was cheap in this box. Like everything fits the theme really well. A lot of it I really like um like they could have really easily put like that fang charm on a necklace and that wouldn't really appeal to me because like i use those charms and I've, I've seen them before and all of that they could have really easily done that but i feel like the charms they used are really unique like the blood vial and that red coffin i don't know i just feel like the quality was nice in this box i liked the room spray from Bubba's Melties. I like that they did have a small business in there. As I said, everything fits the theme really well. There's nothing in this box that I'd say I don't really like. Maybe the candle, but that's just me. <laughs> I also like that they've done a contents card because I like reading off of it at the end. <laughs> Overall, I'd say I'm happy with this box. I think I will get use out of the majority of these items. That's what always appeals to me in subscription boxes if i can actually like use things and they're practical and they look cool so like the room spray is practical the bag is practical the key ring okay it's more decorative but you can do something with it it's not just stuff that's going to sit in a box so i really enjoyed this box i feel like this was much better than the ginger red coffin vampire box and this didn't feel cheap to me so really liked this box um but you will have to let me know what you think do you think this was worth 26 pounds did you get this box and what did you think of it do let me know in the comments so i do hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a like if you did enjoy it and remember to press the notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload i will also have some halloween hauls coming very soon i'm actually recording one like today is like my the first halloween haul of 2021 so very excited there's quite a lot in that haul actually so do subscribe if you love to see halloween hauls and all of that because they will be coming very soon do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye